Hey guys, <clears throat> it's always baby love here, and I hope you guys can hear me. I just stepped away from the thing, so I'm doing a computer video because I really wanted you guys to actually be able to see the little baby girl, and I decided I was just not in the mood to deal with the phone thing today, so I decided to do it the tried and true way that I know how to do it. Um, so, I've got her in her little basket, and she is on the couch, and I changed her into this super cute sleeper that I got from eBay. Um, I got my little eBay haul yesterday, and I didn't do a video because I was doing laundry at the time. And I thought, you know, the clothes are used, so I'm just going to go and throw them right into the wash with all my other clothes. So, I mean, they didn't smell or feel dirty or anything. I'm sure they were washed before they were packaged, but I don't know. So I just decided to wash them before I put them on her. So, and then I was, I was pretty busy yesterday, and so I didn't get to do a haul video. But she is wearing this cute little sleeper. I am a huge fan of things like this on my babies. It's so cozy and so comfortable and it fits her perfectly. The only thing is it's a little bit long in the feet, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I have a feeling that it's going to fit my new baby perfectly then because my new baby is going to be 19 inches and Jamari is 17 inches. <coughs> oh, sorry about that, I just ate something. and. So yeah, I think it's going to fit her perfectly, but it fits Jamari so well and it's so cute. And on the feet, I don't know if you can see it in that great of detail, but on the feet, there's cute little hearts and they're tactile and they're the most adorable thing. And I saw this sleeper in the bunch of stuff that I got and my heart just did a little pitter patter and I was like I cannot wait to put her in this because it's so cute. So I did a little off camera changing video, well not a video, um, a little off camera changing session yesterday because I really wanted to put her in this cuteness. <coughs> oh my goodness, I'm sorry about my throat. I just ate and yeah obviously my throat feels funny. But yeah, um, I love the sleeper. Hopefully you guys can see her cute little basket finally. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty excited. So that's Jamari. And I have a couple of questions that I was wanting to ask the community. Just things that I'm not sure about. And I'm sure they're really silly and you guys are going to be like, what, really? <laughs> But I want to know these things. So, and you know, maybe this, I don't know. One thing that I'm curious about is what is the difference between a romper and a onesie? Because like, I know what a sleeper is. I know like what Jamari's in right now is a sleeper um, with the little footsies and everything else, sort of similar to what I'm wearing right now, actually. I'm not on camera right now, I don't think, but I am wearing my little onesie, adult onesie. <laughs> I know I've done a video in it before, but seriously, it's my favorite piece of clothing. And when I come home from work, I just don't want to do anything but get this thing on and just, like, veg. <laughs> and it even has little feet and everything. It's like... Me and my baby are similarly dressed. But, um, yeah, what is the difference between a romper and a onesie? Um, I'm assuming, I think, and let me know that I, if I'm wrong, but I think that a onesie is like one of those under things that goes on underneath clothes. And I mean, I guess you could have it just by itself if it was really hot out or something but they have snaps usually around the crotch so you can open it up and easily change the diaper. And she has one on underneath her sleeper actually. 
Um, but yeah, is that a onesie? And if so, then what is a romper? I just want to know what the difference is between the two. And also, I know that you guys can get, or that we can get, bottles that are sealed so we can put water or whatever in them and not get stuff all over our babies. And I've seen videos of people giving tutorials on like how to modify bottles and stuff, but I am curious if I wanted to buy a modified bottle, um, where would I get one or some? Because that just sounds awesome. And I'm also curious, sort of around the same theme, around bottles, and maybe this is just something that I just don't understand, but when you guys do feeding videos where you actually put something in the bottle, <coughs> and I know that some people use fa fabric softener to look like milk or whatever with water or whatever. I know like Erica Jones uses real baby formula, which I think is really cool. So you put whatever in there and you shake it up and you feed your baby. But like people on their videos will say things like, oh, I don't think she's gonna drink all of this. So I'm gonna feed her only part of this. And then, oh look, she's almost done. So if the bottle is sealed and obviously nothing is coming out, how do you guys make it look like they've drank part of it? And like maybe this is spoiling a secret or something, I don't know. But I want to know that because I want to start doing feeding videos and stuff. And I have a bottle that's not modified, so if I did a feeding video right now I would probably just feed her with nothing in it. And, and I thought about doing that too, but <coughs> I want to know how you modify bottles and how you make it look like they've actually drank something out of them if nothing is coming out. Is it similar to, like, I remember I had some of these for my dolls when I was younger where it was those bottles and you would tip them up and it would look like the stuff was drained out. Is it similar to that or how do you do it? <laughs> anyway, those are my two questions and I'm going to probably get going for now because there's a new book that I really want to dig into. Uh, one of my favorite authors just wrote a new book and I just got it and I really, really want to start reading it. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are into um, the book The Kitchen House by Kathleen Gritham. But if you are, and I only say this because I know a lot of people have read it, um, a lot of people that I know, and like this genre of book is like my number one favorite genre of book. But anyway, the author of The Kitchen House, Kathleen Gritham, just released a new book called Glory Over Everything Beyond the Kitchen House. And I really want to read it. And I'm super excited about it. So I think I'm going to go and bury my nose in a book. So I will be back with another video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed Little Baby. And I'm going to see how we can... Hold on, no, 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 no. Computer, you and your babbling. Stop recording. Notification center. Calendar. I don't care about your calendar. This is my computer. It talks to me. If anyone else, or if anyone wonders, like, how the heck I do things in the world, a lot of things, like my phone and my computer, will read things out loud. And you can hear it because there's no way Finder. Text edit. to not. Player. But anyway, we're going to go to QuickTime Player and we're going to... Today. I don't care, the stupid like calendar thing is like... Ugh, this is terrible. Finder. Text edit. Quick time player. I mean, I do care that it's my friend's birthday, but right now I am not really Today. into caring. Go away! <clears throat> And I'm terrible at oh editing stuff, so I don't know how I would take this part off. 
close button. Uh, close. Close. That's what we want to do. We want to close you. We don't care about your Details updates. Button. Oh my god! I just want to stop recording the video. Details button. Details button. Finder. Text edit. Quick time player. Quick time uh. player. Movie recording window. Stop recording button. Thank you.